All right, good morning. Uh, today, I woke up at 152.8 pounds. So I just thought I'd give you a physique update since it's been a while. Uh, so this is what 152.8 pounds looks like. I don't have shreds anymore. Looking a little fluffy. But uh, we gotta eat some more. So I uh, figured I'd go over what a full day of eating looks like now, which is a lot of food. Um, it's kind of a chore, but I'll show you. It's not much different, but uh, you're about to see. Carly's waiting for her food. So we gotta do that. Do you ever have those days where you wake up with like big aspirations of being productive? Me too. This is one of those days. I'm not sure if that is going to be real, but we'll find out. <laughs> okay, now it's time to uh, get some steps in, but in the meantime, I've got uh, lunch cooking up, or meal two, so chicken, rice, and then this is part of meal three as well, so sweet potatoes. It's the best part about keeping things simple. You can cook everything, like, all at once, and it only takes like an hour. But uh, yeah, so just in case you're wondering, cardio is also important on a bulk, not like strenuous cardio where you're like burning tons and tons of calories, but at least like a good amount of walking. Um, I usually hit about 10,000 steps a day still and then I'll do like 20 minutes of cardio after a workout but gotta take the doggy for a walk she's definitely got to poop so she's like come on let's go I'm crowning my butthole is ready so we're gonna go do that and uh, stay tuned for the next meal meal number two 260 grams of rice six ounces of chicken with some chipotle cholula sauce on top which like I said in the last video saucing up your food can really make all the difference I'm not really hungry much anymore but it makes the difference of me like not wanting to also vomit uh, while eating this well just like you know being able to get it down <laughs> just kidding it's not that bad but uh yeah so this is meal number two I'm gonna try to get some work done and I'll have one more meal before I head to the gym so I will see you at meal three meal number three 300 grams of sweet potato 55 grams of peanut butter and 5.5 ounces of ground turkey. I am not looking forward to eating this. <laughs> um, not hungry, but uh, we're gonna do it anyways. Um, yeah. You know, never thought I'd say this, but like. I can't wait to be hungry again. <laughs> I'm like looking forward to prep because there's just more joy to life when like you can crave food because it sounds good. But when you're like to this point where you're just eating and you're not hungry, like nothing tastes good. It's just a chore. Um, yeah, I'm not trying to like have a pity party. It's just like, damn, I don't want to eat this right now but I'm gonna, so uh, 
Gonna eat this, hit the gym, see you in a bit. All right, all done, finished it. I'm so full now. And I had to go work out and not throw up, so. That will be fun. <laughs> Wish me luck. Okay, so meal number four, chicken, kale, 260 grams of rice, same old, same old. And uh, Carly's just waiting over here for her dinner. So I'll give her that. And you know, it's funny, I can't complain, but I'm eating the same shit over and over because like Carly eats the same shit and she gets excited every time. So like, I'm just a big whiner. Carly, you want some food? See, that's how I should be around food. Just as grateful to be eating the same shit every single day, just like Carly. See, she loves it. <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah, nothing exciting with this meal. I will uh, see you at meal number five. Okay, meal number five. Still got the cereal in here. So 55 grams of Rice Krispies, and then uh, just one serving of Legion fruity cereal milk. So it tastes a bit like uh, Trix or Fruit Loops. Kind of, it's kind of my favorite right now. Uh, there's also the cinnamon cereal milk that's pretty darn good, and then I mean all of them are good. I've got the chocolate peanut butter, but almost almost out of this one, so yeah, just one serving of this. If I can get the, there's two scoopers in here. Why? I did that to myself. Just mix that with a cup of almond milk and spill it all over yourself. And enjoy. This is like the one meal that still just tastes good to me. <laughs> I still look forward to cereal because I'm five. So, yeah. I'll see you again for meal number six, which is the last and final meal. Thank God. All right, so my last meal is hash browns. And then uh, three eggs, which I really am uh, not not hungry, not in the mood to eat this, so I'm also just not really in the mood to, you know, make it taste good. So we're just throwing these eggs right in here with the potatoes because, damn, if I have to clean another dish, I'm going to lose my mind. I did the dishes earlier today, and uh, it's like I have to do them all over again. Like I didn't even do them. So, uh, yeah, I'm all for convenience here. Doesn't that just look delicious? Yeah. Especially for, you know, eight o'clock at night. It's like breakfast for supper after you've already had supper. This doesn't have the same ring to it, unfortunately. Man, this is looking better by the second, right? Don't you want some? Alright, so while that's finishing up... Oh yeah, so here's like the dishes that I've accumulated in one day. Which, it actually doesn't look that much, but uh, I did do my morning dishes already, so <sighs> we're missing a few that are in there. My new place, which I am moving to in exactly a month away now, is going to have a dishwasher and a washer dryer.
that's an upgrade. I have never had both of those things at once. It's always like one or the other. <laughs> My first place didn't have either. Second place, uh, it had the washer, no, excuse me, new. No. It had the dishwasher, but did not have the washer dryer, so I had to use like uh, coins or credit card or whatever. And that's always fun because then you gotta share with the neighbors. You never know if they're all gonna be in use, so you're not really ever sure if you can actually get laundry done at a certain point of the day, or you have to get up like really early to sneak in there and turn, get your, your clothes washed. So I won't have to worry about that. And I will have uh, a dishwasher. It's great. So uh, I'm gonna eat this lovely, lovely little hash here and uh, finish out the video with a few last words. Okay, now that I am uncomfortably full and ready to go to bed, uh, oh, and so is Carly. You ready to go to bed, Carly? Yeah? I'm going to uh, fall asleep watching the uh, Cecil Hotel documentary which is quite creepy and for whatever reason I fall asleep to the creepiest shit so um I fell asleep watching it and last night it was on like episode four and in my like half conscious state it sounded so creepy that I had to like turn it off and <laughs> go over to because in my head I was like I need to watch something happy I'm freaked out so I just went over to Amazon Prime and then started watching my 600 pound life <laughs> went right to sleep it worked uh, anyways so today was like the first day that I've felt kind of more like myself uh, more motivated just kind of like had a little bit more more spunk <laughs> That sounds so, that's dumb. Okay. Uh, but I feel like there was like a mental shift somewhere between this week uh, where I was able to kind of like visualize my goal and like, it's like I lost sight of what my goal was and I want to compete again. And I was too focused on like, how there's like no end in sight to this bulk or like when I'm going to be able to compete again. Uh, so I was like feeling like impatient and I finally realized like I want to do way better than I did the last time I competed. And if I want to do that, like I have to continue to just push myself and it's going to suck. And definitely <laughs> definitely has had a lot of suck um in the past two weeks I had to take a bit of like not a complete like diet break but a few days with less meals in there um because I hit a wall like digestive wise and mentally where I was just like fuck you know like I can't I can't eat another meal like I can't eat another egg I just can't I can't <sighs> I'm gonna go insane. Um, so it was good to just have like a tiny bit of an adjustment for a second and then uh, kind of just hop back on track and uh, find my why again, which is helpful. <laughs> if you forget like why you're doing something, obviously it's gonna make it harder to actually wanna pursue that goal or like keep pushing yourself past a certain point. And I'm usually pretty good I like pushing myself into discomfort continuously, but uh, yeah, I just hit my wall, but I'm back at it. Um, I think too, uh, when it comes to bulking and stuff like that, it's not as exciting, so it's also kind of one reason it's not as motivating, because you're just kind of like purposely getting fatter, and you don't really know how much of it is muscle and how much of it is just body fat. So just to kind of be like force feeding yourself to <laughs> to get better is just like, uh, but, um, yeah, no, like 
my energy felt a lot better today. I had a really, really good workout. And the, the past couple weeks of workouts were kind of up and down. Some of them just felt like garbage. My energy was super low. And uh, that happens. It's normal. And you just have, you know, even I have those moments of feeling like, I'll never get to where I want to be and the whole impatience thing. So I really just had to kind of shake that and not let the feeling of impatience actually like dictate my actions. It's okay to feel impatient, but it doesn't have to take over your life. It doesn't have to run the show. So impatience is normal. I get impatient all the time, Um, but I'm not going to let it like take over and 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 run things and (sighs) allow myself to just you know i don't want to run down those that path of self-doubt where i'm just kind of like hearing that inner voice that's really negative like oh you're never going to get to your goal you're never going to place in a show why are you even doing this this is all for nothing um so i've really just had to quiet down that voice ultimately so that's my main focus this week. Sorry for the ramble. I'll probably talk on that more. Um, But yeah, I was just dealing with a lot of self-doubt and uh, trying to kick it. And I'm moving in a month. So hopefully that'll be a good fresh start. That will also probably mean a new gym because it's a little far from my current gym. Bittersweet, I think. I'll touch on that in the next video. But thank you so much for joining in on this video. Um, I know wasn't too exciting, just a lot of food. (laughs) But uh, I appreciate you watching. So um, if you like it, thumbs up. If you don't, whatever. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave them down in the comments. And peace out. I will see you next time.